So here's how to fix this issue. If this message randomly pops up without you pressing the home button or opening the UMD drive, then your issue is gonna be with one of these spots. Either the lever right here to the left of the spinner, or if your model has it, a little pin, black pin is gonna be right around here. That only applies to the 2000s and some 3000s. So your first way you're gonna to try to fix this is gonna be with some good old WD-40 contact, electrical contact cleaner, something like this, or like a BW-100. So you're gonna to wanna to turn the system off, remove the battery, open up the compartment, and then spray a little bit in there. Press the lever down. And then I like to use a little bit of compressed air clear it out. There's not too much excess in there. And then you're going to want to give that you know, like a minute or so to kind of uh, dry a little bit. And then you're going to retry it. And then when you put your game in, you're going to want to be pushing in these areas. You're going to apply pressure right here where the lever is located and maybe around here and kind of shift it left and right and such to see if this symbol right here kicks on and off. If it does, and you hear sounds of it not really starting up nice, then you're likely gonna have to either try to use the contact cleaner again, or you're gonna have to solder on a new lever. If you don't get any uh, startup attempts at all, even before trying any of these methods, you could have a broken lever, broken pin, the pin could be kind of bent to the side and it has to make contact with this point right here. So if uh, it's broken physically, you will have to solder on the replacement. Certain motherboard versions are more likely to have failure or require you to replace the lever. Like this 3000 version that has, if you have this style of lever where it's thinner and it's kind of like a grayish style, the likelihood of the contact cleaner working is much, much slimmer. If you have a black lever or a white lever, those pretty much always get fixed. And the pin that you'd be bypassing sometimes, if it's broken or bent, is gonna be this. This pin right here. And then if you do need to bypass it, you'd be soldering either a wire or you could just kind of do to solder a bridge from this top left point right here down to this bottom middle point. Typically for these, I'll just take some pliers and then just grab it and then just kind of twist it. I've never had it lift up any of the points and damage the motherboard, so it's a pretty safe method to do it that way. And now I'll show you how to replace solder on a new lever. Certain motherboard versions are a lot trickier to do or more risky. Like the TA-095 has all these components very close to these pads for the lever. So these are, well, you're more likely to screw this up. 1000s can be a little trickier if they're this version that has the components really close at this top point, but otherwise they're easy. Now you can use a thicker tip like this one or an extra fine tip. And you can use flux as well. I like to use 360 degrees Celsius or maybe 320, somewhere around there. Now what you're first gonna do, if you're, if you're not using flux, this is how I'll show how to do it. It's gonna add a little bit of solder onto both of the left pads first. And you just go back and forth, slowly lift it up. It's loose on the left side. Now on the right side, I'd highly recommend using Flux for the TA-095 version because it's just, you're more likely to get solder on those other components. But I'll try doing it first without Flux.
And I try to tilt it this, or kind of pull it away a little bit. By just starting at either the top or the bottom. Like that. I'll try to do the bottom, bottom half. And it's roofed. Didn't end up getting any solder on the right components. So that's that's good. It just takes longer to do it. Yeah, we'll show doing one with flux, and this should take a it should be a lot quicker. That's the type of flux I use. A little bit on there. Move the solder to the tip. And then just go back and forth. And the left side's up. Now you do have to be somewhat careful when using flux as well to not accidentally touch the other components because they'll lift up as well. So maybe using a smaller tip might be better for this uh, motherboard version. And that one's removed. And then to solder it on, you just solder on your replacement part. And then if I was going to re-solder one onto a motherboard, a 1000 motherboard in particular, typically I start with the right side Sometimes you'll add a little, you can add a little bit uh, fresh, fresh solder on the points. And you just kind of slowly twist it or notch it in a little bit, getting it close enough to the right side lined up and then you gotta check downward to make sure it's lining up. Then just start on the other side. As tap left, left and right as I apply downwards pressure on it. You wanna make sure to not touch the iron with your finger. And there you go. Now, if you want to bridge these two points right here, I reckon I typically don't bother. I wouldn't bother with a wire unless you already have one. But add some fresh solder at a higher temp to these two points, and then what you're going to do is you're going to drop your temperature down to about 210 to 20 Celsius. I'll use 210, and then you're going to slowly add it in. Pulling the solder away, deciding you're just going to slowly bridge it as the solder cools down. And there you go. That'll fix that issue.